Hi, Cactus Club. Welcome back to Luigi's Mansion 3. In the last episode, we got of all of our gear, and we got the first two elevator buttons, and let's go install them. And we got two things from EGAD. One elevator tracker and the VB. The virtual brew. And let's get to the elevator. Oh, and uh, Daddy, what about that painting over there? Maybe you can, the, you can use the dark light on that. All right, let's get this purple again. All right, let's get to the elevator. Oh, and there will be a new upgrade that the Poltergust will get once you enter floor five. It's called the... Plunger. And exploding fire hydrants like that, they give you money. And let's get to the elevator to install a few things. Zegat again. Hello, Luigi. It seems like the installation was a success. Success. Now that, as to what that device actually does, well, it extracts map data about the floors from the elevator. Then it takes all that data and displays it on the monitor. Isn't that great? Yeah, cool, cool. Hey, why don't you take those elevator buttons you collected and insert them into the panel? <laughs> They make these elevator buttons oh, yeah. seem really, really deep, go. and it makes you wonder in actual elevators how deep the buttons really go. There's one. And five. I think five was the floor that we were staying on originally, so we got to head back up there and get some stuff. Okay, so there's the basement. Now you're able to view the map of a new floor. There's another surprise, Luigi. That device links with the virtual boo. The map data is automatically sent to the VB, so you can view the map anywhere, anytime. If you open the map from the VB menu, you can check out an even more detailed map. Don't go forgetting about it, okay? Let me break it down for you, Luigi. The map is super helpful for exploring new floors. While you're exploring the hotel, you should hunt down the elevator buttons. Those buttons will let you reach new floors, ripe for exploration. Oh, and you might find your friends there. One more thing before you go. Oh, of course there's one more thing. Luigi, we need to do a quick test of the VB's communication system. Open the VB with the plus sign and select the EGAD hotline. I'm counting on you, Luigi. All right, so you hit the plus button. Ah, look at that. Now we got to go down to the EGAD hotline. <laughs> testing, testing, one, two, three. This is EGAD, resident genius. I'm coming through loud and clear. Fantastic. It appears that the VB's communication system is working perfectly. That means you can use this to contact me anytime you need to. If you feel the need to talk to me, just do exactly what you did for the test, Luigi. I may be able to offer some advice in a tough situation. Oh, you can also check out the log using the very same system. Let me know if that's why you're calling, and you'll be able to see your progress. Okay, testing my inventions is fun, but we should get back to work. And speaking of work, I have a job for you. Of course he does. So you're able to take the elevator up to 5F now, right? I was actually staying in a room on that floor. There's a briefcase in my room. Could you fetch it for me, Luigi? My room number is... Ugh, blast, what was it? Eh, you've got a map. You'll figure it out. Thanks for letting us do the hard work. Good luck, Luigi. Try to come back alive. All right, I'm going to hand it back over to Penny while I play, and she will continue. EGAD has a lot of jobs for us. 
Except, why wouldn't we be able to figure out that other guests were staying here if Egad would have been in the lobby checking in? That's a weird thing. I wonder why we didn't see him, though. Wouldn't we have passed his room? Or maybe the toad stayed near him and maybe he would have told us about him? I don't know. Let's head to floor five. Wait, Dad, I remember now. We were on this floor. And uh, the elevator, um, when she said, oh, that's when we went up to floor five. All right. Luigi wanted posters. I see those. That I see a Luigi wanted poster. Huh? Oh. Egot's calling us. Like, we haven't even had 10 seconds without him calling us. Hello. Ah, oh, Luigi, I just remembered something important I neglected to mention. The poker, the Poltergeist G00 has a new feature I like to call Section Shot. Section Shot. It'll work as a weapon for for on your adventures. You can use Y to fire the rubber plunger and you can suck on the flat, smooth surface. And if you use the Poltergeist G00, um, the rope, then press A, you can tug on objects and pull them Pow off powerfully and slam them to break them. You should get shooting things right away. Practice makes perfect after all. Oh, and don't forget my briefcase, Luigi. <laughs> Alrighty. Alright, so if you suck up Luigi wanted posters, sometimes they'll have money behind them. Which is actually really cool. Every little corner has something. Wait, Dad. Remember, this is how this is how we get the gem in the one lobby that we found. The green gem in that flower pot we couldn't get. All right, we'll go back to that later. But now let's just do everything. Why would a cabinet have money in it? I don't know. Except, wouldn't the ghost be interested in finding money? And you can only plunger one plunger at a time, by the way. So you better aim it where you want, or else the one that you place the other one, if you shoot another one, the other one will disappear, and then that one will stay. And uh, a lot of them, um, there's a lot of fun stuff in this game. And my favorite, my favorite floor is uh, um, floor 11. It is the Twisted Streets. And you'll find out more about that later. Hey, Dad. Um, I think there... Oh, yeah, there's a crack behind one of those Luigi Wanted posters. And there's a flashy thing on the vending machine. There is so much little stuff. And we'll be getting all of that. We'll try to. To get all the things. And you can also plunder things like that. And careful on that. The cracked window leads you to some place. That one. And also, if you even suck up the curtains, there will always be a few dollar bills flying up from the sky. Hey, Dad. After you do everything, you should interact with the toys. Oh, boy. Looks like there's a lot of ghosts in there. And it seems like there might be some money in that laundry machine. Oh, a vending machine. You know what happens to that. And let's flash it. How much money do you give us? Once again, you're also meant to give it your money. Why does it give us its money? And also you can plunge your vending machines down to like knock over things like those doors. I mean, vending machines, and also mm -hmm. there's a door back there. Mm -hmm. And here's what I was talking about. <laughs> Don't fall. <laughs> and small little corners like that, you have to do that. 
and careful. There could be ghosts anywhere. And let's go, let's take a peek. Ooh, a golden rat. Haven't seen any of those lately. Huh? Well, we've seen one. Let's go through that little nook. Oh, and there's gonna be uh, a bunch of spiders because of how many cobwebs there are. And let's go up the ladder. There's a blue gem. It's a rectangle gem. Cool. There's a lot of spiders. And every little creature gives you money. Um, the toughest ones to get is probably the golden crows. And the easiest, um, the I'm not sure, it's between the spiders and the rats, because they both have their own little sneaky tricks, like going up over walls for the spider with the webs, sneaking through holes. I don't know. And how much is a pearl worth again? One hundred. The money, again, for a reminder, the coins are one, dollar bills are five, I think. I don't know about the dollar bills, but the gold bars, 20. Pearls, 100. And that's all the money you can find. Now, you see that blue gem? You can just shoot the suction cup. Actually, not the suction cup, I'm sorry. You can actually just go up to it, even though it looks like a wall panel. How did we do this? Hold on. Um, so, to plunger things, they have to be in our direct aim, where it shows you, like, a little marking of the... Oh, Dad, there's a bunch of money. And the where all that money came from is actually a bag of gold. If you see a bag that has a juice... Not, could you get a move on, Luigi? You need to get to my room and re retrieve my briefcase. Um, to get to that gem, you have to go through that door when we, um, got, when we pulled down the vending machine. That's how we get to that gem. Make more sense now? Yeah. I remember things a lot in this game. So, I know a lot of things. And, Dad, why would ghosts want to make toilet paper fly? They're just having fun. How could that be fun? You're making the place more dirty. So to get, in order to get that gem, you have to go into that room with the door. And let's go in. There's gonna be a lot of ghosts. Oh, golden rat! You don't wanna miss those. That's how much money they give you. They give you like five uh, um, golden bars and like 20 points. Oh, I missed one. Hey Dad, see that little uh, stack of money up there? And the vending machine. But where did all those ghosts go that kept flying around? Don't the ghosts normally show up eventually? I can't even remember that. Oh Dad, I see saw a golden bar underneath the sink. It shines so bright. So Dad, that's how we get that gem in the lobby. Oh, basement one. Oh, and you can even see that treasure chest area that we were just in, in the corner. If you didn't notice, because some of the wall is just gone. Oh! Oh, you have to get those. Those are worth a bunch of money. <laughs> Don't let them away. So, Golden Ghosts, they give you a bunch of money. But they have 250 health. So you have to get it down to the right amount that you want. And they give you a bunch more money than a normal ghost. They give you like five coins if you slam them even once. But for this, but for these, they give you several. They give you golden bars, dollar bills, and coins. My favorite money, golden bars, coins, and pearls. And dad, do you see where you get the gem? That little thing you can plunder. 
and you have to aim it just right. It's something you can actually do. And there's that blue gem. I did it. And oh. there are five more to go. And uh, all of the gems are hidden very well. And gem ghosts, you'll find more about that later. The telephone's ringing. Yeah. Hmm. Nobody answered. Strange. Oh, haunted janitorial stuff. Oh, looks like that wall can be sucked up. Every little corner's got something in store, even if you don't notice it. Everything is there. And this is a, I don't know what this place is called. And do you know what this place is called? Neither do I. But it's some sort of power line area. I don't know. Oh, dad to get past it. There you go. Oh, and careful of the spiders. They're, uh, they're actually, they have venom in them. And giant piles of money like that, you can't um, just walk into them and collect them. You actually have to suck them up. Ah, there's the red gargoyles gem. I know where that is. I so remember that. Well, hello, haunted janitorial stuff again. I know it. 504. Dad, weren't we, I remember was 501? No, wait, wasn't it? I can't remember our room number. I don't know, we got either. Oh, and if you see in the corner, there's a map where you are. First room. Dad, do you think this is the Blue Toad's room? No. Because there's so much blue stuff. But the toads didn't have any luggage in the beginning, did they? Yeah. Nope, but there's always money in the cupboards. I don't know why, though. It's a crazy thing. And, uh, I'm seeing the only thing that I see is you can break the suitcase, open the drawer, open the closet, and go into his bathroom. Whoa. There's nothing in there except a bunch of dust. Hey, Dad, the blue suitcases. We forgot to break them. Oh, and mirrors. They have little things that you can see behind you that you can't see. Luigi, what's taking you so long? Go to my room and collect my briefcase. We're exploring. Oh, and behind you, Dad, there's about some coins. And who would keep a spider in their bathtub? And why would you flush it? Oh, you, if you're lost, you can get the VV. And by the way, who would flash a rubber ducky down the toilet? That clogged the whole thing, wouldn't it? Alright, the faucets, they give you money in them, which I don't know how they got there. That's something that I really don't know. Um, don't forget to... Uh always turn on or off the water in bathtubs because usually there could be a gem in it there could be a pearl there could be treasure don't leave a bathroom untouched all righty let's keep going and uh daddy you might want to break those two cases with the puncher. not with that all right slam socks and glasses does Toad wear glasses? Does he? I don't know. All right, 505. Here's all the rats. I know this one. It's a place where they left a bunch of food out and it looks delicious. Oh, and always check little rat holes like that. If you don't know what those are, those are little mice holes. Oh, I remember. So when you grab that ball, launch that at the gargoyle, and it'll just totally kabam, and you'll get your next step. And Dad, here's another secret spot where you can get money. If you launch it back where you found it, it'll just give you a bunch of money. So launch it back there, and let's go. It just gives us a bunch of coins. Alrighty. Oh, wait. Hmm? Oh, my God. 
ghosts. I don't like those. Why do they make everything dustier than I don't get that. Oh, and you can slam ghosts onto other ghosts to take their other ghost health down. Defeated one ghost with another slam. Alrighty, let's keep going. So we're gonna explore the rooms after we get the briefcase. Cause Egon really needs his briefcase and he's not being any patient. Who wouldn't be patient for the person who collects all of his ghost research? I don't get that. And why couldn't he have done it for at least one more time? Well, then the would have never been made. So, that's a point. Wait. Oh, yeah, that great. It gives you some money. Every, even, um, air things, I don't know what those are called, vents, they even give you cash. I don't know why. So, let's just keep going and get these gods briefcase before anything gets any impatient. Here comes main ghost. And she's a boss. Just like the steward. But she's a maid. There's he gets briefcase. Uh oh. They've both been caught. What the Why'd you do that? Alright, so Dad, what is in that briefcase? I can't remember exactly. I think it might be Guiji. Yep, that's right. Guiji. Alrighty. Let's keep going and explore Egad's weird science lab. Why is this room like a science lab? I don't get that. Oh, and you can take the suitcases, but you can't break them. Because they're meant to be slammed onto different objects to break them. Why does he have sticky notes? Oh, and every pillow has money. Oh, and those type of potions, they're money potions. Oh, and don't launch them up in the ceiling because then they'll rain down money just like piggy banks. And every little thing. Oh boy. Yellow. Hey Luigi, sorry, I was busy and just got back to my desk. Did I miss anything important? What's the status of my briefcase? What? A ghost maid took off with it? That won't do. No, that won't do at all. Don't just stand there, get after her. Well, I was until you interrupted me. Alright, here we go. Forget to check the bathroom. And his balcony, I see. Why does he bring so much work stuff on a vacation? You gotta trash the ghost stuff up. That'll treat people who. That'll treat those ghosts to not treat people's luggages poorly. Except I. I don't get why you hide money under Alright, the telescope. Here's where you find out more about the gun ghost. And of course he's hiding more money. Careful, don't get surprised. <laughs> so they only have 80 health. But the thing is about gem ghosts, you can't suck their health down by normal sucking. You have to hit them. You have to slam them to get their health down. And uh, gem ghosts turn into gems. Normally clear gems, sometimes blue gems, sometimes any color, really. Wow. And now let's actually, oh, and you can water the plants in this game. Just. Press X and you can do it. Why would you dump the entire water can though? Oh, and those are called money daisies, I think. 
or money sunflowers? I don't know. If you flash them with light like that, they give you money. And um, the money is very important in this game. And I wonder how far you could plunder. But let's go into you guys' bathroom before we see any other things. Of course there's more science stuff. There's even potions in his own bathroom. Ah, oh, I like this music. Except what's behind that curtain? I don't know. I actually don't know. Oh, I thought there would be like a ghost in here or something. So that's how he keeps his hair so well trimmed. Huh. What is this called? Money, toilet paper. Oh, in that grape, you'll be able to do, you'll be able to come back here with Luigi and then go through them. We'll find out once we actually get the briefcase stuff. And I wonder if the light does anything, like if you could suck it, pull it, push it, I don't know. I seriously don't know. Le anyway, let's get to that maze ghost before Egad starts bossing us around again. Except why does Egad does everything for us? Why can't he only not make ghosts? Oh boy, oh boy. And uh he can't leave the room! Which isn't good. Oh, and uh, a two for one is where you snatch two ghosts at once, but those are very rare. And also, three for one ghosts are more rare. Are that? You can also slam ghosts onto other ghosts and take their health down by 10%. As you can see, instead of 100 for that ghost, it was 20 or 40. But because um, we slammed the other ghost onto that one. And we'll be uh, going to go fetch his briefcase in the next room. And we'll have to come back to every single room to get everything and stuff. All right, let's get, why is there still more maid stuff? I don't like that. All right, let's get into 507. And there's nothing there with the dark light. <laughs> All right. Aha! Flash her. Plunger her. Now you keep slamming her over and over and over again before she goes into the next room. And don't miss her. Yep, so the way you beat her is you just flash her with your flashlight really quick, but then you immediately need to use the plunger where the briefcase is, kind of in her stomach, I guess you could call it. And then you're going to do this a few times through each of the rooms. Nice and easy. Unless you haven't played this game before. Oh, Dad, the bats. Golden bats are also really tough. They're, so uh, the top two that are like, almost impossible to beat or like golden crows and golden bats see you can never aim it oh dang it that's why they're so tough sometimes the bats can get away sometimes the crows can get away dad what is the hardest little creature for you to catch this oh the bats absolutely uh it probably would be the bats for me because i got the crow on my first try before daddy can you see the imprint of the door? If you ever see like a square with another square on top and then another. So if you see that on the floor, um, that means that there's something there that you need to do with uh, that, the dark light. And wasn't it strange there wasn't any closet of oh, those? What do you think they look like? Orbeez? I don't know. Dad, what do you think they look like? They're just little light balls, really, but you gotta suck them all up for the thing to actually come back. I think they look like Orbeez. Ooh, a pearl and two hearts. And our health is back up to 99. And careful with this Luigi. Yeah, you don't want the bed to clump you. 
Anywho, let's go into the bathroom real quick after we destroy that. Sorry, not sorry, mouse. And let's destroy everything we can to destroy the ghost's property. I don't care if Helen Gravely doesn't like it, because I want to defeat her. That bathroom is banged up. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I see a little something over there. See that, Dad? Not that. <laughs> I was talking about that paper that you just saw. Oh, there's the golden bar. Don't miss it. You missed it. All right, so um, earlier when we were getting in the beginning, Four or five, we had to use the suction to defeat, to take care of suitcases. And that's how we get that purple gem. And our favorite color is purple. Whoa. And, uh, oh, all right. Dad, what is your favorite color of gem? Probably the purple one. Either the blue, green, purple, red, any of them, I don't know. Except the clear ones. Those are sort of basic that I... is sort of crazy. Going in bars and a bunch of tools? That's not weird at all. Every little thing has its own little thing. And we haven't checked out the map yet. We haven't checked out the map yet. Maybe we should check that out later. To get that golden bar, I think you might have to do that weird jump thing. Oh, there you go. All right, let's get after that ghost. What is this ghost's name again? I can't remember. He got By the way, Luigi, here's a bit of fun traveling tip for you. It's actually a trivia trip for you. Every time you go through a door, all of your progress up to that point is saved. This is what we talked about earlier. I'm just going to skip through this, but if you move too quickly, it won't save. 10 seconds, yada, da 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 Again, just wait for a little bit after you go through a door if you need to save it. Wait, 10 seconds is the best. Let's go into 506. Why are you hiding behind a bed? You're the ghost. You're the one who's scary. Not us. Why should you be hiding? Wait, Dad, this must be Red Toad's room. Oh, no, she got rid of it. Flash her. Where she sucks in. All right, so sometimes she'll dust you off and she'll take off the plunger. And also she'll die for you. Every ghost boss will do that, no matter what. And definitely the hardest ghost to beat is either the DJ, Helen Gravely, or King Boo. What was the hardest boss fight for you, Dad? Probably for me, it would be, uh, I don't know. Wow. Helen Gravely and King Boo and technically everybody except the easy ones in the beginning. Why is there a bunch of golf balls? I don't know. Looks like somebody's golf club got stuck into their chair. That does not look good. Let's get after that go after we go into that. Oh, by the way, we didn't see this, um, but in that crack, um, that ghost was using a, um, a toilet scrubber to clean his teeth. Oh, and you can lose coins if ghosts punch you like that. And by the way, that ghost used toothpaste on the toilet scrubber and then brushed his teeth, and then did it in his butt again, and then put it back in his teeth. It's just sort of weird. But I think it's fun. It is very funny. Ugh, not more jump scares. Enough with those already. And sometimes you'll have to push or pull to get the bathtubs to fill up. And also, um, Luigi can't go into water in this game. Uh, hello. Luigi and normal Luigi. 
like in where the pool, when the pool was filled up. No, this isn't Mario's room. Mario's room was when the pizza was on the floor. Yes. Mario, Luigi, and Peach's room, that giant couch, that's what it was blocking. And we'll talk about that more later. Let's get that ghost! Here she is, she's ready. Oh, be careful, the rats can hurt you. It's strange how, right? She gave up the suitcase, yeah! She's trying to dust us off, but she won't get it. And also, we should go to the gallery and take a look. Oh, and uh, never leave this much food out in a hotel. I'm serious. Oh, but that ice cream looks so good. Well, maybe we could collect a snack for Egan and him later. All of that made it home make me hungry. Oh, and sometimes you would have to plunge your curtain um, that if there's like a big secret like that. Ah, spider up on the ceiling. And uh, spider on there. And in the DJ room, there is a little secret in there that involves clothing and sucking them up. And now, time for the moment of coins. The money picture. My favorite thing about the dark clay is that it makes the colorful things on it when you use it. And also, on the painting that you used, it just makes it a bunch of colorful swirls. That's what I really like about it. Oh, you might want to grab that briefcase. Where are you going, Luigi? Don't forget about my briefcase. Didn't we already stuff it in our pocket? Luigi, where are you going? Don't forget about my briefcase. Oh. Yeah. Crazy dude. Uh -oh. nice. Dad. What does Egan give us for doing all this work for him? Yeah. Well, we get money and we get to play the game. Except that all that, except all that money goes for getting you an A. You don't get to keep it. Haha! <laughs> seems like you also retrieved a new elevator button along with my briefcase. Well done, Luigi. Come back to the lab. And there will also be a thing that looks like a TV that you can go through to get to the lab. Yeah, that comes quite a bit later. So I think we'll stop it here. Once you get the briefcase, you're good. You'll have to go back down to the lab. In the next episode, we'll start down from the lab. We can come back up to these floors later because there's other gems and whatnot. But you're going to want to go straight to the lab. So that way you can get your little green buddy of Gooigi who is able to go to places that you are not. Hope you guys have enjoyed the second episode of Luigi's Mansion 3 for the Nintendo Switch. We are Purple Cactus Games. Do not forget to subscribe if you like us. Thanks for hanging out with us, and we'll see you at the next video.